The Clotha River, up for discussion today, was its minimum flow rate, water allocation limits, and management of its main tributaries, the Kawaro, Hawia Rivers, and Lake Wakatipu, Wanaka, Hawia, Dunstan, and Roxburgh. Um, so health and but while nine members of the Otago Regional Council attended the discussion, um, only five members of the public turned up to discuss Otago's most important river catchment. When we do a plan change, we commission or undertake a number of reports, um, but we also want people to have a say in the scope of those investigations as well. Feedback from members of the public will be used to develop hydrology reports and values, which will enable the council to come up with a number of management options to control minimum flow and allocation limits of the Clutha River. So allocation limits, volumes of water that people can take from these water bodies. A minimum flow is basically a level in the river and when the water level drops down to that specified level, then people that take water with the resource consent, they have to stop taking water. A cap on how much water can be used by commercial operators like irrigators could be one of the end results of this change. Uh, domestic purposes for household use or for animal drinking water or for firefighting pur uh, purposes, it really doesn't mean a thing. Uh, because the RMA allows you to take water under those circumstances at all times. Also, if you're taking smaller quantities, we've got a number of rules in the plan that allow you to take smaller quantities of water at all times. It's basically when you have a consent that you will often be restricted. The policymaker says it will take a year before the council can report back to the community on the options and two years before a plan can be implemented. The series of consultation meetings will continue in towns downstream of Queenstown. Mina, I'm so this afternoon.